What's going on everybody? Giraffe Anatomy here and today I'm coming at you with another Smite guide. Today we're going to be looking at settings in Smite. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions in the Smite dojo and just from new players in general like hey what should I put my settings on? How should I you know set my settings? What's the difference between instant casting, quick casting, normal casting right? We're going to go through all of that stuff with you here today. Basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to go through the settings one by one, give my opinion uh, based on like kind of what you want, um, like what you want to have set up, because um, some people might have like less powerful PCs, some people might have max PCs, it, it, it doesn't matter, like what your frame rate is and you know what your texture detail is and everything like that. So um, make sure you know kind of what your PC can handle when it comes to this stuff, but we'll get into the settings here. We'll talk about audio user interface, those sorts of things, and and why I think um, some are better than others when it comes to certain settings, right? So when it comes to video, very simple, right? Real detail, texture, shadow, shader quality. Basically, you want your PC to run faster and you want a higher FPS, you're going to want to put these down to medium and low. Um, it's going to affect the way the game looks. Most pro players and streamers, honestly, they have their graphics down pretty low, um, especially like their world detail and, and stuff like that, right? Um, you can see that like the world around you it, it's not going to be as crisp as, and as bright uh, mine's on maximum so Ra's looking pretty sexy right now right um and i think when when you do change this down to something like low uh you know it's i guess it changed a little bit in jungle practice um but it's it's not that noticeable and it will save um it will save some uh like com computing space for you if the world detail um, isn't as high as normal, right? So uh, you have your world detail, right? Which is the actual physical things around the world. As you can see, if I go back up to maximum, it changes a little there, but you can't really tell too much, right? So you could probably put this on low if you want, um, if you want to save some things. Texture detail, I like my characters and my um, abilities that I am using to look good. So for me personally, I like being able to throw this out and seeing all the textures and seeing all the details that it has to offer, right? You put uh, this setting on low, these textures and everything, they're going to look like way worse, um, right? So you can see Cernanos. He doesn't look as shiny as he was, right? Um, it, it's still there, right? The main form is there, uh, but you can tell, you know, he's not as shiny. The, the details on uh, like abilities and stuff like that uh, will be affected, right? So there's certain things that will be affected in your, your textures of your character. Um, like I said before, it will help boost your FPS, like stuff like that. Um, but you know, it, you, you can put it on low, you can put it on high. I myself, I have a pretty good PC, so I can put it on high and see all the shininess of my characters and see all the little details of all the hexagons inside, you know, the skin and stuff like that. So for me personally, I like that. Um, and then basically, um, just make sure you're on the right resolution. I have a 1440p monitor resolution scale. If you want to increase it, like I said, I have a really good PC, so I increase it to 200. Uh, most of you should probably have this around 100. And I personally like borderless window, um, just because I have two screens. I'm going back and forth between the screens and stuff like that. Um, so I use borderless window a lot. Uh, most other people though either normally use full screen uh, or borderless window that's basically like the two choices you really want to go between um, regular windows weird because you have like the actual window bar and that's not fun right um, when it comes to vertical sync I don't need it because my refresh rate on my monitor and the FPS I get in the game is normally high enough that it won't tear anything for me um, like my ragdoll physics uh, particle detail this is uh, I think this is actually what changes the actual um abilities like the way the abilities look um and stuff like that and the way like uh some of them when like nox is thrown out or things and stuff like that the way those will look uh so just take a look at that um i guess it's preference right preference and what kind of pc you have um and then anti-aliasing it basically just smooths out the edges and everything like that um so what i'm gonna do i'll click apply for there uh for audio me personally, um, I actually have the music down like really, really low to almost like you can't even hear it. Um, most people play with the music off completely, but I do like some of those theme songs, right? Uh, so I keep mine on. And what I do is I turn the sound effects volume up way more than like the main volume or music volume because you want to hear things in this uh, game, right? 
um, you want to be able to listen for abilities, sound cues, things like that, and not be taken aback, um, you know, because you didn't hear something, right? So sound cues are important. Loki going into stealth, like all that stuff is a good example. So have this higher than all your other stuff. And then this is just the main volume, like how loud or not loud it actually is. Um, user interface. So this all comes down to personal preference, right? Um, for me, I have colorblind UI on because I like having, uh, like I can barely see red. Um, it, it's just, I, I can never see it. It blends into so much crap in the game for me. So for me, um, I have it so that my allies, uh, so the enemies are like yellow and the allies are blue, right? So if I go to user interface and I turn this on colorblind UI, um, that, that makes their health bars and stuff a lot easier for me to see. Um, so for me, it just works a lot better. The other thing um, that you see here is colorblind correction. This is bad. I, even though I'm colorblind, I would never use, I would never use these. This is crazy. Um, it just doesn't look natural, right? Like everything's all messed up. Like my guy's all different cut. Like I, I, I get it. I understand because it does make certain things actually pop out more and I could probably see an Artemis trap on the ground um, if I use something like this, um, which I can't in the normal game. Um, it just, I, I can't, I can't, it, like I, I'm colorblind, but I'm not that colorblind, you know what I mean? I mean, I am that colorblind, but it's just, you can tell it's off, you can, you can tell it doesn't look normal, right? But it does make other things show up, right? That you normally wouldn't see. So if you're having trouble seeing abilities on the ground, like an Artemis trap for me blends into the ground all the time. I, I literally can barely see them. Um, especially if other stuff's going on, maybe use a uh, colorblind correction. But for me, I still use none. I'm colorblind. I just changed the UI, right? Um, all this other stuff, right? It, this is most, mostly, uh, preference things, right? Um, nameplate, that stuff, uh, show player name tag, all this stuff isn't too bad. Health bar opacity and health bar scale. This is basically, um, it like how you want to see the enemy health bar. So, um, you can see how like solid it is, right? If I do that, they're a lot more solid now. Um, but for me, I think they block a little bit of vision when they're that solid. So I uh, end up just turning it down a little bit, right? Um, I'm at around like 35 or something like that. That's good enough. You can normally see it. And then health bar scale, you can make them bigger or smaller um, over their heads. Uh, turn this off. Don't be a little bitch. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I don't care what people type. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, streamer mode will basically turn on like, uh, like you won't see the names and stuff of people and things like that. Um, let's go into controls because I think this is one of the biggest things people ask about. So, first of all, I'm on PC, right? As you can see, I've got my mouse. I've got my keyboard. I actually use a half keyboard. It's just a personal preference setup, but even if you have a main keyboard, right, you're going to use WASD to move. You're going to use your mouse to aim. I have most of my stuff on quick casting um, because I have buttons on my mouse. Uh, if you can see, right, I have buttons on my mouse and I use these for my abilities. One, two, three, four. If you're coming from controller, obviously you only have a controller. That's what you use and learn on. But if you're migrating to PC, I highly recommend that you get a mouse with thumb buttons because when you're playing on a controller, which I don't have it here, I guess, uh, my Xbox controller, but when you're playing on a controller, your right thumb is used to doing things, right? It's used to pressing buttons. You have Y, A, X, B over here. You have another thumbstick to like look and stuff. When you go to PC, all of a sudden, this thumb is now doing nothing most of the time. You can actually put that to good use when you're migrating from Xbox, PS4, whatever it is, from console to PC. And if you put the buttons here, now all of a sudden you have four again. You know, you basically have your Y, A, X, B right here that you can use. And this enables you to use quick casting. So first of all, let's talk about the casting methods, right? Normal casting. So normal casting means when I, like, let me get him to level 20 real quick. So I have all my abilities. Normal casting, the way it works is if you press the button and you let go, the ability is still there and you can freely move your mouse around and the ability will not fire. 
right? You need to press the ability again to fire it, right? You have to left click to fire. You can tell how much I don't use this. <laughs> um, this is on instant casting, by the way. Um, so I, you can individually put certain things on instant casting, right? So if you go into the menu here, um, if you go into this, which goes through all of their things, you can actually put a separate ability. It'll normally come and use default. If you use default, you will use whatever is in this control right here, right? So whether it's normal casting, quick casting and instant casting, if you go into here, you can actually turn certain ones on instant casting. So what's the difference between the three, the three normal casting, you press it, you can move it around, you left click, the ability will fire, right? Um, when it comes to uh, quick casting, when you go to quick casting here, what this means is that when you press the button down, it will show it. Now you have to hold and keep that button down the whole time. When you let go of the button, the ability fires. That's what quick casting is. Now, different people play different ways. If you grew up playing PC, you're probably comfortable pressing one, two, three, and four up here to use your abilities. However, I personally believe that's antiquated. And the only reason that that happened is because we didn't have mice that had thumb buttons before, right? I think that currently getting a mouse with thumb buttons is much better for almost every sort of gaming. Um, when it comes to FPS, like first person shooters, having like reload and um, some other buttons like switch weapons and stuff on your thumb frees up your left hand to worry about movement most of the time. W, A, S, and D, right? So being able to do this really, really helps putting this thumb that's not doing anything to you. So I highly recommend, and I think if you're ever going to learn PC gaming, even if you're brand new or if you haven't played anything else, get a mouse with thumb buttons. We're in a new age, right, where it's like, hey, to play a game, you need a keyboard and a mouse, right? You might as well get a mouse with thumb buttons. How, get one that has at least four. Um, you don't have to use all of them. Six is a lot. It may look overwhelming, but once you sit here, tactically, like your thumb's going to remember. After a couple games, your thumb's going to remember, hey, where where I am. Um, I started with like a, an, one of these mice. Uh, this old Logitech G700S was one of the best mice ever, and it only had four buttons on it, right? So it was nice because it's like one, two, three, four. Very easy to remember, very ergonomic. You had a few up here that were nice um, about it, but it really helped the transition from console player from being a console player that I grew up with, right? I didn't get that ingrained muscle memory from when I was like 12 playing PC. Um, so when I went over to PC, I thought like, why am I using like one? Like, look, I want to have my hand on here all the time because I want to be moving. I have to like, okay, if I press two, I'm like, okay, get up here and do right. It's like, yes, it becomes second nature for most people, but I don't think it's the most ergonomic and the, um, most effective when it comes to using your keyboard as effectively as possible. So use the tools you have. If you can't get a mouse with thumb buttons, I highly recommend changing one, two, and three, four to other buttons that are within a better reach for you. So um, when it comes to the settings and you go to key bindings, right, you can basically reset ability one, two, three, and four to whatever you want. Me personally, I have, um, my one, two, three, and four on these buttons here. Um, but my ultimate is actually on my space bar. So I like to have that. Um, some people use shift for ability one. Some people use Q, E, R, F. All of these are very, very easily pressed, right? Um, so if you want to alt, some people have alt on their F. They'll be like, oh, F real quick. Um, or people have like use E and um, Q for their abilities, right? One and two, you can do that and I think Doing something like that is a lot easier than one, two, three, four for your ability. So when playing Smite, I highly recommend either put your abilities on like control, shift, um, Q, E, R, F, like these abilities and use your space bar. Through all of these, you should be able to use, you know, uh, enough buttons there. You can put consumables on Z and C. You can have things on like V and B. Uh, if you have relics, so most people have them on F and G. 
me personally, I put mine on Q and E. Like my relics are Q and E because I have my thumb buttons here. It frees my relics up to be Q and E, right? And my consumables to be Z and C, right? Um, so just find what's work, what works best for you. You don't have to stay in the mold that people think you should be in. Most people that grew up as PC gamers, they use one, two, three, four, because that's what they grew up on. When it was like Quake, they didn't have other options. That That's what they had, right? Uh, when, when they were playing like Unreal Tournament and stuff like that, um, that's what they had. They didn't have mouse buttons and stuff. So people grew up playing with one, two, three, four, and they use it because that's all they've ever known. And because they're so ingrained in that, anything else feels awkward and they don't take the time to relearn a better more ergonomic more effective way so i think any of these other ways are going to be more effective right utilize the keys that you have on your keyboard here the immediate buttons that are very easy to press right off of your traditional wasd right when you're on here um if you can get a, a mouse button use that too um so when it comes to the casting right there's a very long explanation of like what am i doing with my casting basically when you're first starting out, normal casting is fine. You're going to press the ability, press again. But if you have a thumb button, you can actually use quick casting, which is what I have now, and you can freely move while holding that button in, right? Like I'm holding it in this whole time. If I let go, this ability will cast. If I want to cancel it, I right click, right? So you just have to get used to this. But I think quick casting becomes very effective, almost as good as instant casting is, right? Um, because you can, it, it's, it's faster, right? If you press the button, it just happens. You don't have to press it and press it again with the other abilities with normal casting. You have to press the button, um, and then you have to fire it, right? It, that takes time, right? That takes time. And during that time, somebody else could be using an ability over you. So, you know, you have to press it and then press it again to use an ability. Um, sometimes that just takes too long, right? Um, and it's also not just pressing the ability once you have to wait for the target to come up and then press left click for it to work, right? Um, so yeah, it just becomes harder to do things like auto attack cancel, um, things like that. Like with Cernanos, one thing, the reason I put his dash on instant cast, so the other thing is instant cast. Uh, I don't think we've talked about that quite yet. Instant casting right here. That just means if you press the ability, it goes. It doesn't matter what you do. As soon as you press it, it's it's gone. There's no targeter anymore. So you have to rely on a ruler, a ground targeter, like your like your X or whatever, to target things, right? So if you're on instant cast, it's more like, hey, I know this god so well, I can put his things on instant cast. Because basically, with this ruler line, I know I'm going to hit him. And I know with my uh, targeter here, like where things are going to go, like my ultimate. So if I just do this, I can do that and hit him with the ability because this line is basically working the same as like their targeter normally is, right? I like quick cast though, because I like to see the ability. Sometimes it helps targeting. Uh, it, it helps it be easier. But one thing I do like is dashes or escapes to be um, on instant cast, no matter what. And the reason for this with Cernanos, the reason why I do um, quick cast on everything else, but I put an individual ability, which the way you do that, you can go here and you can put something on instant cast, um, is because you can auto attack cancel with this. Um, so if you're using this um, and you do, bump, 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 you can actually get like an extra auto attack out faster if you use his dash as like an auto attack cancel. Um, that might've been a poor example of it. I'm just gonna show you, try and show you again real quick. Yeah. See how the ability went bump bump? That's because once you get to a certain level, you can start doing things like this. Um, having his dash on instant cast, when I press it and I right click it like really quickly, um, you're able to cancel it. So it's basically like, see how I moved like an inch when I use the ability? You're not dashing the full dash. You're actually using it just to cancel the auto attack animation. So you can get an extra auto attack out. So if I keep holding down left click and I do what I just did, right? Which is the very quick use the ability and cancel it. And I time it right. See how two attacks came out? It was like bump bump versus like the bump bump bump. It was like a bump bump. That's how you auto attack cancel, right? So some abilities for certain gods 
you're eventually want to get you're going to want to get to this point right um so you're holding down left click for the auto attacks and if you time it right damp 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 da -dam, right you can use this to get out that extra damage so when you're late game certain us and you're in a 1v1 you can do something like that and get out two auto attacks that like crit very fast uh you're going to have an advantage in that fight right so that's why i use that and then i use quick cast for most other abilities right um instant cast is okay and it it becomes like when you know the game by second nature or you know a god by second nature and you know all of their hitboxes and stuff yes you can start putting things on instant cast and using something like a ruler to know like how far something's going to go out but me personally because i use this um and i'm able to hold the button in without impeding my movement i am going to keep it on quick cast because if i press it it comes out really fast anyway. I don't have to double click. I don't have to press it and then left click. Um, I just have to hold it. Once it's released, it's done. If for some reason holding it impedes your movement, right? I recommend putting it on, on quick cast. I think movement comes first. Being able to do WASD and strafe and hit things while like maybe strafing a little bit, right? Like with hunters, when you're, when you're battling, sometimes strafing uh will help right if you're just going like left and and right uh but most of the time when you're moving you want to be holding w and like moving your mouse left and right like this right so as long as your movement isn't impeded by what you're trying to do do that i would try and find a way but if you're pressing w and then you're like kind of taking your hand off to use like one two if that two's hard to hit because your fingers on w right if you're like having trouble getting to this too and you're like eh, it's uh, like awkward or or whatever right it's like i know some people say it's like second nature at that point but you know if it's hard to hit find something else that's more ergonomic q e right like any of these is like really ergonomic to be able to really quickly like oh i need to use my two q oh e my one like right whatever you want to do q e r shift like all of these your fingers are already right there use them um and then find the casting mode that works best for you quick is fine if you don't have to hold down something on a keyboard it's going to be awkward if you're using w and then you're holding down q to like for your first ability and you see the targeter coming up and then it's like okay now i i need to like move to the left well it's like doing this like that's not fun right it's not good to do um basically only use quick casting if you have buttons on like your right thumb that you can use so this you're completely unimpeded you can still aim perfectly fine while holding that button in um certain dashes and things you can put on instant cast right because you basically want to turn dash right like you want it to be instant when you when you use it and just it'll get it's weird at first you'll get used to it you'll get used to like being able to turn like 360 real quick and then use your dash and stuff to get away um right you want to be like oh i'm out of here and like sometimes it does it early like that i didn't do like a full 180 because i pressed it and it's so fast it's like instant right um so just get used to the timing and stuff on on the dashes and everything like that when you use it like hoey's jump like those sorts of things um where you don't really need a targeter to know where you're going um it's better to put it on instant cast um so as soon as you press it it just happens right so it's instant you're not wasting that split second of time sometimes it you're able to leap other abilities and, and do other things because of that um that extra fraction of a second right you don't get hit by stuff you're able to escape something you're able to bead something um you're able to use a cc immune alter or, or something like that right some ultimates like um Scylla's can be put on quick cast and stuff like that right um so yeah that is basically um most of the settings that i wanted to cover when it came to like the controls and stuff like that most of these other things are preference right um i guess i should go over restricted camera pitch mine is off which means you can look at the sky um this is important because you need to see things like thanatos alt coming your way or apollo if like there are gods that are in the air um and you need to see where they are uh you can do this with the restrict unrestricted camera pitch it also helps um how many times has this happened to you you're fighting uh and you're like in a wall <laughs> your character doesn't disappear and there's all these abilities and you're like what the hell is going on you can like barely see crap right so you're like fighting and and yeah it's just like all up in your face well if you move the camera pitch down sometimes it helps the fighting uh in the walls 
you're still able to like see an opponent um, that's like up against you if you go down um, if you're looking like down a little bit more right like this um, and it does help when like placing abilities at your feet too like if you're if you're trying to like juke somebody and you're like whoa oh, 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 I'm gonna place something at my feet you know like things like that are like your ultimate right um, stuff like that it'll it'll help if you turn this off boom or, or on right you can't go higher than this that is crazy that feels wrong um, literally feels wrong it does let you look down but not as much but oh my god this feels claustrophobic I want to say this feels claustrophobic I'm not joking um, sure it'll help because you can never like go above this so it might help you with aiming I guess but it feels like there's a certain point where it feels like you're sliding on glass um, I want to say because you're moving your mouse and nothing is happening and that doesn't feel right you don't want to that just feels wrong um, don't do this uh, <laughs> I guess it comes with comfortability. I know if you're playing on console and stuff, I think the restricted camera pitch is fine, but you can't see anything above you. Your mouse stops moving after a certain point, right? And it doesn't feel good to like move your mouse up and not have this move. Um, I would much rather, um, if you're on PC gaming, right? Um, I would much rather turn this off, restricted camera pitch, and have like, now I have my full range of motion, right? This is what I like. And if you're up this high, sure, yeah, it eventually stops. But that feels a lot more natural for it to, like, stop moving there. Here, it's like I want to be able to go up, down, left, right. Like, I'm aiming with my mouse. So this feels a lot better. Um, sometimes, you know, if you want to do stuff, you can just do that. AMCBs or something like that. And you just, like, I don't know. This feels better. Um, so look into that. Make, make sure that feels uh, better for you, right? When it comes to all this stuff, targeting. Uh, another thing is the line that you have. There's a few different ones. Um, there's the ruler. Uh, so basically, this will tell you how many units away something is. This will help if you're first starting the game, knowing things like item effects and stuff. Sometimes they're within like 40 units, or like Mystical Mail will work within 40. So you know, like, hey, so if I'm within somebody's range around like 30, 40, like I'm going to be ticking the Mystical Mail stuff. I think it's Mystical Mail, right? Is it 40 units? 25 units. Okay. So mystical mail is 25 units. I was thinking of something else. I might be thinking of like the other aura items. Um, so within 25 units. So that means you need to be around like here for this to work, right? For mystical mail to work. So you need to be pretty close to them. This gives you an idea of like unit, right? Um, this right here, the 55, this is the auto attack range that you have. So you can know if your auto is going to hit somebody or not. Um, by using this, right? If you're like this, you're like, oh, I know he's in auto attack range. Even if you don't have the targeter on him, you'll know that um, he's within the range, right? Because um, you're close enough. And you know here, you're keeping your distance, right? So you know if you're here, a hunter can't auto you. So you can actually use it to help like keep distance and kind of know what that distance is. If you're newer, right, this will help you out. And then you're like, okay, I know I'm away from him without having to auto and like show your thing. And now it's like, oh, he's within range. Okay, now I can auto. Uh, you know, he's out of my range now. And now he's in range. Let's go. Okay, right. You can use it for that. Uh, 70 is like this max. Like some alts reach all the way out here. Ultimate attacks, right, uh, and things like that. And then I think... Um, when it comes to the ground targeter, I think most of these go out to 55, but then they have that extra circle around them, but that's where they'll like lock in. Um, so it's good to know, good to have kind of this visual sometimes. Um, and then if you don't like stuff like that, um, there is always none, uh, but I find this is like a little weird sometimes. If you keep the targeter, I guess it's fine, um, right? But I like to just have a simple line. Um, for me, it helps aim some things when um you know if i have things on instant cast or, or stuff like that um or quick cast i'm just pressing the button really quickly i'm not really looking at the target the line helps um bracket highlight this is basically just you know do you want to have the god highlighted if you know you're targeting them um i use this because sometimes you're within auto attack range um and you want to make sure you're hitting them um so I turn it on because that will let me know like, hey, when I have when I know I'm going to hit somebody, see how I'm still a little off with my line? You're still going to hit them with this auto. Your auto is a little fat, right? 
Um, so this just lets you know, like, hey, you're going to hit the god if you're within, like, this is basically your margin of error, right? As long as that bracket's up, you're going to be hitting them with an auto. Even though my line is a little off of the god, it'll hit them, right? So if you see the bracket, you're good, right? You, you know to fire when the bracket comes up, basically, um, when it comes to autos. And then auto attack, or melee gods, right? It'll come up when they're close to it right uh so when you're within your melee range you'll see this bracket come up um that's why i use it once again it's personal preference at this point with that stuff um ground targeter too it's like a, a preference thing um when it comes to that uh check them out see which ones you guys like the most um spectator and this is whatever um key bindings we kind of talked about this already right you can bind things to whatever you want feel free to use it i like one of my best key bindings i think is t for shop um item store is normally i inventory on your keyboard you're like eh. you have to like go all the way over i press t look how fast my store comes up oh yeah oh look at my thing oh oh what am i building oh, okay cool oh what is this like my fingers never move from wasd i put everything like literally on this half keyboard that's like all within reach right look oh my store look how look how simple that is uh <laughs> so find key bindings that work for you experiment you don't have to use one two three four all the time for everything find things that are more ergonomic for you find things that work for you for me coming from console this was the best finding my buttons and putting this thumb to work right and then i think quick casting with this is a very um personally i think it's superior um at least quick casting and instant casting they work faster than the normal casting you don't have to waste time on abilities you can literally like you know you can have it up as a targeter and you can be running away with the targeter up and then just like flick on somebody and be like whoa oh right you can like click use your abilities and stuff like that but still have the targeter up so you can see like kind of when it came over and when you want to use it um who it's going to hit that kind of stuff right one other thing i guess we can talk about um which by the way if you didn't know how to get to this abilities page you can do it from here right abilities and you can put certain things like dashes on instant casting everything else use default it will use what you had before but um the other thing you can do is hud editor this is another thing you guys um probably on console can't do um, but on PC, you can edit your HUD. And what I have done, obviously, is um, some people might call it a crime. Some people might uh, like it. I don't know. My map is on the left side. Like, I put maps are up here. It's hard to see that shit when it's up in a freaking corner and your screen is, like, super large, right? It's hard to see that. So, basically, what I've done is I've reorganized it to my liking. Um, I put most of my notifications and things up here. Uh, if my teammates die, they go up here. Uh, if my enemies die, they like they'll pop up here and stuff like the X's on their things. But then the kill message comes up like right here above me. I don't like it things crowding this right here too much. Um, the level up is fine, whatever. And my objective health, I have my buffs, debuffs here. My chat windows over here It kind of overlays a bit to get that chat like right up into this. So I can be like hello and then it pops up like right here right above the thing that i like um i put everything into one box on the left some people have things over here on the right that's where i put my face um so i this box i like it's compact it shows you your gold right um it shows you kill uh deaths assists it shows you your power it shows you all your items you don't have to have a box that shows your items over here and then a box that shows all your stats over here i think is just dumb to have everything all over the place just put it in one corner like look over here if you want your stuff i put my team up here and the enemy team here right below you know their respective things right this is the enemy team so the enemy team goes here i can check out all their levels all their stuff here to me it just looks a little bit better when i do that i'll show you really quick actually when i change my team bloop, see now all the odins are on my team so this is normally what like a full team bar looks like uh when i do this um i will show you also really quick oh this actually might not be good oh he's on my team Duh. uh 
<laughs> Let me just freaking buy uh, this stuff. Boom. I'm going to show you what the notifications look like for kills and stuff for me. So I basically do this. When I get a kill, it shows up here, nice and centered, up in the top. And you can see when an enemy teammate dies, they show up here, right below where their stuff is. When my team dies, they're going to show up here. Um, so yeah, it still shows them, but uh, you know, they're still crowded. It, it's not as crowded as it normally is, right? Um, so yeah, I think this is like preferable for me, right? You can find what's preferable for you. The other thing is my map is normally right here. You can put it either on your right or your left. I find the left just because I have my stuff here, right? on this side um it can get a little crowded also having like a map right here um and stuff so i put my map on the left i actually put it really close to my character because i like to look at the map uh and see where everybody is a lot of the time and having it close like that sorry having it close to you like this and big with a little bit of opacity like if you get used to it you will see movements of people like in conquest and stuff and be able to know like where their enemy jungle is when they pass through wards when somebody gets vision of them it helps you keep track of people like all the time so i like having my mini map close to me you can have it smaller you can have it bigger whatever i have mine big with opacity so i see the circles and it does not like impede me in team fights at all i can see everything it's perfectly fine but if you want to change that do it but try putting your map a little bit closer to your character more towards the center of your screen work on the size bigger smaller like lots of opacity no opacity right work on how that works for you guys um and find something where you can look at it without taking your eyes off of like this uh the center screen and and not being able to like aim at people right um and then i also have like my objectives and stuff it's it's very easy just to have it like right next to me so I can see like tower health and things like that. Um, right when you walk in the tower, I don't have to like look up. Like sometimes it's in weird places. I can just see here what the tower health is, right? While still aiming. Like I, I know what it is. So for me, I just like having my objective health right here. Um, it just helps me personally. I don't have to like look at the top of the tower or whatever, like right here. I. I can just look here on my right. Okay, now I know where it is. I know the amount of health it has, etc. I think that's about it. That's most of the things um, I wanted to chat about when it came to that. Um, item store. I mean, guides. All right. Auto skill level up. Auto purchase. Um, you can turn these on and off here. I turned them off at, after a certain point. The other thing I didn't talk about was... Um, when it comes to like leveling stuff up, I have it. So to level things up, I literally just press shift and the button I use for the ability. Um, where is reset level? There we go. Boom. Okay. Everything's level one. So if I want to level my one up, I would just press shift and the one that I normally do. If I want to level my two up, I press shift and, and two, right? Or, well, I want to set my level, right? I would press shift and two, right? So I'll use it with my two. There we go. And if I wanted to level it up, I would press shift and then the ability again, right? Shift three is my dash. If I don't press shift, I use my dash. If I want to level it up, shift three. It just makes things easy. You don't have to be like pressing F, whatever the crap it is for default. Like, oh, F1 for my, you're taking your hands off stuff and you're like thinking too much about things. Just shift in the ability right uh, oh that's leveling up that's that's using it okay now if i want to use it okay i can use it you know um so yeah that's about it for most of these um i hope you guys learned something i hope it helped you make decisions on things um like i said before try things out you don't have to keep it the way it is um make smite yours right um get into your own little Hey, I like the way my fingers feel when it it does this, right? Um, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> you know, get used to like a, a style, right? It, use your keyboard more. Use the more ergonomic and easy to reach keys to use your abilities. Get a mouse with thumb buttons. Use that. Slap a macro on there and 
use that to laugh or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't. Th I don't know. <laughs> use your extra buttons. I have auto run on one of them, so I can literally just press a button and get back to lane and like eat a snack uh, before I actually go. You know, um, get into the lane. Right. Um, I have back on my other button. Makes it super easy. I don't have to remember where B is. I just press the freaking button on my mouse and I'm back. Right. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you have any questions. Feel free to leave them down below in the comments. If you have any other tips or tricks you think would be really, really useful for somebody, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Um, feel free to subscribe. And if you haven't already, we do run a Smite Discord server called the Smite Dojo. We teach people how to play Smite. We play with each other. You know, it's also what she said. Um, we <laughs> we play like Arena, Joust. Like it's not like super crazy. Oh, like. You know, we have to learn all the time. Like, we have fun. We meme around. We do chitter builds. You know, we do spicy meme builds all the time, like full speed Hercules or like tier or whatever, right? Like, you can do fun things, meet people that are learning the game just like you, play with friends, like play with people. Smite is so much better when you play with other people. So the link is in the description below. Join our Discord server. Come hang out with us. Ask questions there. We have mentors that are diamond and masters level that have good advice for you. If you have questions, um, you know, it's right because they're, they're good at the game and stuff like that. Right. At least in a ranked sense. Um, so, you know, you're getting good advice from good people when you ask the questions. Um, and then, yeah, we have a lot of other people, everyone from just starting out, literally just starting out on the game. We have Xbox and PC players, uh, and PS4 players, right? So it doesn't matter what, if you're on console, if you're on PC, doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, come check us out there feel free to subscribe to my channel too because i'm always coming out with information um guides uh we do stream highlight videos and stuff like that so stop by say hi and uh hey just wanted to let you know have a great day